Welcome back to Wasteland 2. We return once again to the Canyon of Titan, and I'm about to enter the lair of the Diamondback Militia Snakes. Hiss! Our people are half naked and completely stripped of weapons. So unfortunately, I can, if I want to defend myself, I can do nothing but fist my enemies. I mean, wait, that didn't sound right. Uh, anyway. Let's go see what they have to say. This should be interesting, considering that they shot my mad monk, and I've killed some of their people, and, uh, yeah. I don't like them. They don't like me. I don't like the crazies that inhabit this valley. There's a 20mm turret aiming at me. It's a, it's a bit of an explosive situation. Hmm. Damn, this place is fucking huge. <laughs> and the leader just has a small desk at the end of this massive warehouse. These vehicles are in good repair. Even the rangers would be pleased to have old tech in such good shape. Vehicles. Oh, these vehicles. Oh, the turrets are in the back of vehicles. Uh, what are you guys doing? Get down. You meat sack dirtbags! Nice to meet you too. Would you like a dildo as a peace offering? These are marked as junk. Well, I guess I just unmarked it. Good. These dildos are certainly not junk. I really want to open this safe. Apparently it's not even locked. Oh, wait. No, now it appears locked. Hmm. Looks like electrical diagrams on that board. Anyway, what's up, Sadler? My name is Captain Cliff Sadler, CO of the Diamondback Militia. And I ought to gut you for what you've done. Killing my men and sticking your noses in our business. If I had just one ounce less of restraint, you would be bleeding your life out on my floor right this minute. Are, are you not going to finish your sentence? <laughs> he never finished his sentence. You'd be bleeding... Yeah, you'd be bleeding your life out on my floor right this minute, and I'd have one less pain in my ass. You didn't say that part. What the hell, dude? Finish your script! I'd expected better of you, after the report I got from our field op who made contact with you. Fortunately for you, I'm in need of some walking dead men just now. So I'm gonna allow you to pay for the murders you committed in something other than your lives. Do I have your attention? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Attack him. With our fists? Oh my god, no. Yep. Oh, and now you're not voiced anymore. <laughs> you're smarter than you look. Now, listen. The servants of the Mushroom Cloud claim to be keeping the peace in the canyon. But that's horseshit. Those wackos blow themselves up if anybody says, Boo! And they got their thumbs on the trigger of a nuclear missile? How long before one of them has a divine inspiration and blows us all to kingdom come? Now, we're all for using the Titan to keep the peace. It's just the wrong thumbs on the trigger. That's where you come in. We're all ready to take over the temple. Except for one thing. The Titan itself. If we don't stop those monks from launching the nuke during our attack, it's going to be a very short engagement. We've tried before to get men inside to stop the launch. None of them made it. But now that I got you, it's a different story. So what's it gonna be, asswipes? Suicide mission? Or certain death right here and now? I don't like these decisions. Can you please give me different ones? I wonder if there's any keywords I could say here. Mm 
nothing springs to mind. Alright, guess I'll take the suicide mission. Smart move, Rangers. Well, I'm smart too, so I ain't about to rely on your word that you'll carry out my orders. No access to any of our equipment until after you carry out the mission. Now here's what you gotta do. How you get into the temple is your business, but when you're in... Code Scrambler. Uh, but when you're in... You gotta get to the launch room, which has a code-locked computer. Get any monks in the launch room out and use this Code Scrambler to change the lock so they can't get back in. When you do, a transmitter, a transmitter in the scrambler will let us know it's go time. Got it? Good. Now, any questions? Smart ass. When you said pain in my ass, there was an odd ring of truth to it. Are you feeling okay? Why, you cheeky sons of bitches. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm Captain Cliff fucking Saddler. I... Oh, God damn it. Wait, what? We meant no disrespect, sir. We're just concerned for your well-being. Fuck it. I got hemorrhoids. Can't do nothing about it. It ain't debilitating, just real fucking annoying. De uh, debilitating. Debilitating. There we go. That's better. Okay. Thanks to my keen conversational skills, I've learned that he has hemorrhoids. I don't know how that helps me, though. Perhaps I can use my surgery skill and... <laughs> and do what? You don't use surgery to get rid of hemorrhoids, do you? Well, I mean, you don't normally, but can you? I don't know. I'm happy to say I've never had hemorrhoids. What if I use it as a keyword? Am I spelling that right? It's a weird word. Hem or hoids. Yep, that's correct. What? Why did I get rid of it? Alright. Is there anything I can do with that information? Or is it just meant as like a little funny thing? Alright, uh, what do we do with the code scrambler? Well, you already told me. Um, attach it to the lock, okay, yeah. What can you pay? That's a cheeky question. The glory of a good fight should be enough. But I tell you what, you pull this off, and we'll give you lifetime free passage through the canyon once the DBM is in control, as well as access to our quartermaster for all your supply needs. Okay. What is the Diamondback Militia? Well, some of us Eastern AZ locals thought there should be somebody closer than the Rangers to look out for us. And, as I've had some combat experience, I was named Chief of Operations. Since then, I've done my best to make the Diamondbacks the most professional peacekeeping force in the area. The best training, the best equipment, the best leadership. Goodbye, Rangers, and good luck! You can grab your gear from Bridewell on your way out. Okay. I'm confused. Do militias protect the people, or is it just another word for gang? Yeah. That's all too true. I, st I don't trust these people, but maybe they're not so bad. Maybe they're better than the servants of the mushroom cloud. At least they're not fucking insane, so that's something. I'm just wondering, do I want to actually do their mission, or just pretend that I'm going to do it? Because there's nothing to stop me from getting into the temple and just telling them what the, the Diamondbacks plan to do, right? There'll be no Diamondbacks there to stop me. Hm. Goodbye, Rangers, and good luck! You can grab your gear from Bridewell on your way out. Okay, well, I can't seem to cure his hemorrhoids. 
There's gotta be something I can do with that piece of information, right? Hold on, how hard is this to get into? Simple. You think you'd be pissed if I opened this? I mean, it would be stealing. But have I ever seen a character react to stealing? I don't even know if stealing is really a thing in this game. It almost seems like you can't even steal. You just take stuff and nobody cares. I'm not going to push my luck. We're half naked, gunless, and we have a bunch of turrets and people staring at us. Yeah, nothing too interesting in here. Just a bunch of catwalks full of people. And what about this one? This one doesn't seem to be locked. Oh, is this... That's our guns, isn't it? That's... That's our guns, isn't it? That is not proper grammar. Those are our guns, aren't they? There we go. Proper grammar. For the love of God, please tell me that this is going to distribute these weapons to the right people. Judging by the fact that Theodore is, or, uh, Harper is now overloaded and you're overloaded, I would say, fuck no, it did not. <sighs> they can't, they can't even move. Yes, of course my sniper should have all of the explosives. That makes sense. And of course he would want all of the weapons. Oh my god. Uh, hold, hold on, I'll be back in a couple minutes. I need to sort through this crap. Okay, I think we're good to go. I thought I just took all your weapons and now you're back with more? You know the drill get No, I'm not going through. Wait. Wait, 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 if I say... N Shit, hold on. No. Then back off. Okay, good. I thought for a second I was going to have to actually give up my weapons and then re-equip them. Oh god, I'm going to have to do that again next time I want to come here. Ugh. Okay, well, I have all my stuff for the tribute, so I just need to find the actual temple itself. Whoa. What is going on? Uh, let me see if I can intervene. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I, I think I just um, intervened just in time, because the last thing he said was, Get them, monks. Alright. Oh, great. Now you got the damn rangers involved. I got them involved. You're the one making a scene. If you just move your piece of shit cart out of my way. You've got some nerve calling my cart shit. I'll tear your throat out. <sighs> Children. If you look closely, you'll see that there's plenty of room for both of your shitty carts. Stop being stupid and move around each other. You sons of bitches, I'll... Oh. You're right. Damn. Guess so. Can't believe I almost got myself killed. Guess the crazy is contagious in this canyon. Guess we were just being pig-headed. Eh? Eh? Get it? <sighs> All right, Bessie, let's take it around to the right. Good girl. Oh, he's talking to the pig. Piggy's name is Bessie? Mine too. Huh. Maybe we ain't so different. <laughs> Those cars move really fast.
Who the hell uses pigs to pull cards? Would, would they even do that? I mean, like, would pigs even obey in any real way? I don't know. That's weird. The Servants of Titan, Part 1. Oh yes, back to the bridge. You know what, let me sell some more of my junk, because I'm getting, everybody's getting pretty damn, pretty damn weighed down. Oh, wait a minute, you don't have any money left, do you? Nah, you got 50 scrap. Well, can I sell a little bit? Eh, not really. Alright, let's go around back. I love the uh, explosion marks everywhere. Are we there yet? I've explored almost the whole damn map. Goats. Please don't be screaming goats. I've had my fill of them. The fuck happened here? Water. Rangers. Thank God. At the end of our rope. Please, you have any... Water? Dying. Was it that long of a journey? Sure. Thank you for the water. You really saved our asses. Can't imagine we would have lasted much longer without your help. What the hell happened? Do you need... Uh, you ran out of water? Ironic, right? Water merchants dying of thirst. Well, we were robbed. Broad daylight. Took everything we had. 800 gallons of Bisbee Pure. We're robbed. That's right. Mark of Titan, Monk Escort, Armed Guards, the whole shebang. And those bastards still attacked. Shot that poor Servant of Titan before he had time to pull his pin. Raiders, I suppose. But they didn't look much like raiders to me. Not nearly scruffy enough. That better not have been the Diamondback Militia. Tell us more about these raiders. Not much more to tell. They took all our cargo, all our supplies, too. But they looked more like... Well, they kind of looked like rangers, actually. Except for the black uniforms. Talked like rangers, too. All Captain This and Sergeant That, as they were fighting. They were wearing uniforms. Yeah, no insignia, though. Real professional outfit, but heartless. I mean, they didn't butcher us for the sake of butchering like a raider might. But they left us out here in the middle of nowhere with no water, and no medical supplies without a backwards glance. Knew we were gonna die. Slow and awful. Just didn't care. Um... No insignia. Didn't I get a perception bonus? When I first talked to Lieutenant whatever that woman's name was that took all our weapons. And didn't it say that she did have an insignia? Which means it wasn't them? I think? Or it was them? I'm not sure, but there's gotta be some relation. Uh, do you need any other help? If you've got a medic, we'd be grateful if you gave some of our wounded a look. But what we really need is for somebody to go to the outpost station east of here and tell the monks we're broke down and need assistance. We sent Bo out a day ago, but he never came back. And I ain't got nobody fit enough to send after him. Sure. If you ever find yourselves in DeMonta, look us up. Got a little water store there. We'll fill you up for free. 
No charge. All right, cool. All right, let's do some doctoring. Or can I not? Maybe I need to talk to them. Wait, I thought... Uh, didn't you want me to look after your wounded? Is that not what you said? Yeah, if you got a medic, we'd be grateful if you gave some of our wounded a look, but we really need this for somebody to go to the outpost station. Uh, I'm, I'm trying. Just says invalid... Oh, whoops. Invalid target. Bloody tuft of fur. Ew. I guess I'll take it. Just ahead, you see a tanker truck with the word water painted on its side. Sitting by the side of the road, its engine smoking and its wheels flat. The driver and his guards have pitched a tent in the scrub off to one side, and a wounded man lies in it. Beyond the tent is a recently dug grave. Did I just dig up the grave? And a wounded... Uh, as you approach, the driver staggers towards you, holding out his hand. Did I just dig up his grave? Was that a grave? It didn't look like a grave, but... Shit, that might have been a grave. Uh... Nobody saw that, right? You don't hate us, do you? No? Okay. And I can't give your people medical attention? Okay. Bizarre. Copy Ranger Team. Congratulations. Hello, how many points do you have? Six. Nice. Hmm. Let's go with perception. Okay, east of here. East is... Well, actually, it's further up the road. According to the little thing here. This is east. What the hell happened here? Open... wait. Oh, the description is for this. The canyon narrows ahead and you see a chain link fence that stretches from wall to wall, blocking the way. In the center of the fence is an open gate and two servants of the mushroom cloud standing guard. As you approach, one of the monks at the gate steps forward, holding up a hand. And then the description for this here is the, a column of smoke rises over some low hills to the north. The smell of burning bodies is on the wind. Yeah, what the fuck happened here? What the fuck happened everywhere? Like, there's just burned bodies and explosions everywhere. Jesus. Don't tell me I'm accidentally digging up another grave. Under the lee of an undercut canyon wall, you find the smoking ruins of a large raider camp. Burned bodies are everywhere. Food for the vultures, who flap away as at your approach. The whole place smells like barbecue and death. I remember I saw some crispy bodies where that one, um... The one monk was burying the crate full of uh, tributes or whatever. I don't know if that's in any way related. In the name of Titan, halt. A round-faced monk with bushy eyebrows and a bustling manner. He also has a robotic left arm and left leg. He holds up a metal hand as you approach. Explain yourself, travelers. I received word on the radio that a troop of rangers was making its way towards me. 
but I understood that you were being escorted by Brother Shapiro. Where is he? Uh... Um... Uh, I think I'll mostly tell the truth. I'm just gonna say he died. Which isn't exactly unbelievable given how much crazy shit has been going on here. He's dead. But how? He knew how to defend himself. I mean, he used to be a Red Scorpion Enforcer before he came to Titan. And you got him killed. You Rangers are more trouble than you're worth if you ask me. Unfortunately, my superiors rarely do. I will let you pass, but remember... Without an escort, you are without the protection of Titan, and without recourse if someone attacks you. Okay. Well, I already know about his robotic appendages. Those were done by the doctor at the hospital at the Temple of Titan. Doctor... What was it? Doctor Kyle or something? Something... Kelly? Kyle? I don't know. I think there's a K in there somewhere. I can tell them about the Diamondback Militia. I don't know if I want to do that. I won't just yet. I can tell them about the scouts by the bridge. Don't think I want to do that either. We found hidden weapons off the main path. Why would I want to tell them about that? Wait, what hidden weapons? I mean, I know I dug up a sniper rifle. Is that what this is talking about? That's weird. Like, I, I can tell this guy everything in the entire universe that's happened. But the most pressing is that we found some water merchants who've been robbed. They want you to send help. Are you speaking of Clyde and his boys? This is terrible. We will send a wagon for them at once. Thank you for letting us know. Do you know who robbed them? Men in uniform. Infiltrators. Yes, we've been hearing rumors of these villains for more than a week now, and the number of incidents is increasing. I fear these are no ordinary raiders. I submitted a report to Father Enola at the temple about these men, and sent some of my brothers to learn more. They have not yet returned. It is most worrying. I hope Father Enola replies with orders soon. I feel like they must be talking about the Diamondback Militia. Okay, well let's just tell them everything. Found some dead monks at Outpost 2, they were ambushed. An ambush? Such villainy! This cannot go unpunished. I will send a further report to Father Enola. Should I mention the hidden weapons? I, I don't see why, but I don't see why not either, so sure. A cache of weapons? I will send some brothers to secure it. Uh, secure it and take it to the temple. Your assistance is appreciated. You can take this medical salve we confiscated from someone who broke Titan's peace and luckily left their pack behind. It will be accepted as tribute at the temple. I wonder if this ferreting away of goods is also the work of the mysterious lurkers we've been hearing of. We found the bodies of some raiders who were attacked along with the monk. Typical, isn't it? That they dismiss their own wrongdoing as if they were nothing. As if it were nothing. Nonetheless, this is very serious. They might have been only raiders, but they still fell under our wardship, and the loss of any brother is tragic. Their attackers must be punished. I will file a report immediately. <laughs> any problems with raiders? The answer to that's pretty obvious, but I guess I'll ask it. Raiders without monks accompanying them are not protected, but the servants of the Mushroom Cloud do not discriminate. Any who pay tribute may receive our stewardship and shelter under Titan's peace. Even raiders with monks. A 
Let's dig into that a little bit. Do you even protect raiders with escorts? Anybody who vows to pay tribute? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Stuff I already know. <sighs> I almost want to just tell them about the Diamondback Militia. But they're fucking insane. For all I know, if I tell them about the Diamondback Militia, they're just going to launch the nuke and kill everyone and everything. I don't know. I'm not going to tell him yet. Goodbye. Keep in mind, you get to the temple without three containers brimming with sludge, and that gate is staying shut tight. Make sure you collect your tribute. Yep, I got it. Oh, what the fuck? Uh. <clears throat> hey. Hey, look behind you. Well, shit, I mean, <laughs> what the hell do I do now? I mean, I suppose they're just waiting in place until I'm inside the temple, right? I, I guess I'll just leave them there. They shouldn't do anything until I'm inside the temple. I mean, they don't want to start their attack until they know that they, the, the servants of the Mushroom Cloud can't launch the nuke. Uh, hey folks, ow! Werewolf Wally here, and say, has anybody else in town noticed robots coming out of the old airplane graveyard? I don't want to alarm anyone, but I thought those things were dead! <laughs> hmm, anybody hearing this? Hector? Mags? Hey, anybody? Come on, folks, don't leave your old pal Wally in the dark. Come on, call if you're reading me. Hello? Hello? Sounds like something's wrong. But I think I just found some clothes for old Harper here. Lab coat. There you go. You finally have a shirt again. Now I just need one for... Theodore, and preferably some pants too. And something more decent for Yulia. The only other thing I have is this lace bustier, which looks even worse, and for some reason makes it look like her skin is all, like, dried out and ancient. Well, might as well give her something. A low concrete slab sticks up from the desert scrub. It's about as wide across as the helicopter landing pad at Ranger Citadel, but with a number six painted on it and a thin line running across the middle, which makes you think it's a door of some kind. If only you knew how to open it. Try as you might, you can't find any way to open the door. There are no switches, levers, or buttons anywhere near it. Not even a keyhole. It seems sealed shut. Well, this is obviously the, the launch bay of the nuke, right? Alright. God, this place is huge. Temple of Titan. The Temple of Titan is apparently so big it's 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 its own level. Well, this obviously isn't actually the temple yet. Hi. Remember, we don't have our own monk, so if we piss anybody off... Yeah, bad news. Hey, bros, can you help me out? Alright, bro. Damn, look at that beard. 
A shaggy, shabby guy in a tie-dye shirt and fringed leather jacket. He's wearing a bandana across his forehead and carrying a filthy backpack. As you get close, he approaches, smiling. He seems nice enough, but the guy is definitely on something. He's sweating and jittery. Thanks for stopping, bros. Listen, I seriously need a miracle. My girl, Betty Sue, is about to give birth to our baby back in DeMonta. I gotta get through the safe zone to be with her. The trouble is, I ain't got the tribute the monks asked for. They're demanding I get some crazy radioactive goop. Any chance you got a spare and can help me out? I'll totally make it worth your while once we get inside the temple. Spare goop, huh? As it just so happens, I actually can spare one. Because there was one extra back there that I could have uh, could have gotten. Uh, let me dig a little bit deeper, though. I already know the answer to most of these questions, but tell me about Betty Sue. My old lady. The sunshine of my life. She's about to pop, if you know what I mean. And I want to get back for the blessed event. Why would they make you get sludge if you're just a traitor? Hey man, I don't know. I guess they're pissed that I'm always getting lost and separated from my escort when I come through. I'm just absent-minded, you know? Betty May is the smart one in the family. You didn't call your wife Betty May before. It was Betty Sue. I, I didn't? I must be sunbaked or something, man. You know what it's like, right? Out in the wastes, traveling. Sometimes your head gets a little fuzzy. Yeah. Yeah. You're one shady motherfucker. You've heard of DeMonta? Yeah, DeMonta's a settlement on the far side of the Titans Canyon. Me and my chick got a shack out that way. And I really need to get back there. I want to see if he does anything else suspicious. So I'm just going to go through these dialogue options, even though I know the answers. Okay, yeah, so even though I know the answers to this stuff, it is revealing more of his... Weirdness. Bessie Sue. <laughs> Bessie Sue. Keeps changing. Bessie Sue's so sick I'm afraid she's gonna die before I get back. Sick. I thought you said she was pregnant. I, I meant sick from the pregnancy. It it's not going well, bro. I'm afraid she's gonna die in childbirth. That's why I gotta get home so fast. Bertha Sue's always had kinda a delicate constitution, if you know what I mean. You didn't call your wife Bertha Sue before. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Oh, God damn it! I meant Bessie Sue. No, wait, Betty Sue. Yeah, Betty Sue. <laughs> uh, who or what is Titan? Uh, what'd you call her now? Betty L Lou? Lo? Uh, I think you're lying to me. It's time to come clean. Bro, I swear, I, I'm just not very good with names, okay? But Bonnie Mae and me... Ugh, crap. Okay, okay. You got me, bro. By the way, I just want to point out that he's calling this green woman bro. Which is a little bit weird. Um, anyway. There ain't no girl having a baby back home. I'm just trying to get a little shipment out, of, out to DeMonta. And I don't want the monks sticking their noses in my business. They seen me come through here a million times, and something got them suspicious. So this time, they gave this crazy-ass task as tribute. How the hell am I supposed to get that goop out of a bunch of nooks and crannies filled with badgers and raiders? What's in your shipment? Uh, nothing, bro. Just some, uh, pharmaceuticals. And you know how those monks always take medical supplies as tribute? Y you don't? Well, they do. They're always asking for bandages, drugs, needles. Anyway, I got customers in DeMonta who will pay big money for this shit. But if I show it to the monks, they'll take it. Know what I mean? So I gotta get through on the down low. So, can you help a brother out? What kind of pharmaceuticals do you sell? Just little stuff, bro. Headache pills, penicillin, 
Tussin, but that's exactly the stuff the monks want. And I'm not sure they've got any compunction against taking it off my corpse once I join the Great Glow. You're still suspicious as hell. See if I can poke some more holes in his story. Uh, yeah. Tell me about the mad monks. Okay, uh, we could give you some goop. Dude, you are awesome. You want to just give me a can of goop? Wow. Here you go, or never mind. Uh... This Dale is the shadiest motherfucker. Do I want to help him? Is it likely to help me? No. Is it likely to hurt me? Quite possibly. This shady, lying, drug dealing person. If I was to help him, it would just be because it amuses me and I'm curious what he's going to do. But since I'm trying to avoid getting blown up, no. Way to go and get guys' hopes up, jackasses. See ya. That guy's so damn shady. I like how these people are literally named after the guns that they use. Like, I want to be a Raider SMG when I grow up, Mommy. Can I be a Raider SMG? God, this place is huge. Okay, well, I think I will end this episode here before I go any further. This guy's making me nervous. It's like he's walking around with a pin already out of the grenade and he's just holding it on. Anyway. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.